Okay, hello YouTube. This is the first boss fight in Etrian Odyssey 4 solo, where I solo the game with a medic arcanist named Cynthia. Now the reason that she's named Cynthia and it's medic arcanist is because there was a I made a topic on game facts about uh, ideas for a solo and what people like to see solo the game with because I record all the boss fights. And then uses her name, my name is Rocket. Rocket, as I guess we call him, uh, well, I don't know, I'm just gonna shorten his name to Rocket because my name is Rocket is a mouthful to say. Rocket said I should do a, uh, solo with a medic arcanist that's going to be the Hammer of Justice. And this Hammer of Justice shall, uh, be named Cynthia, he decided, or they decided. I don't know gender, don't care. And I'm about to fight the Berserker King, or whatever it's called. Yeah, as you can see, I'm level 27 at the moment, because I power leveled a lot. My equipment is right there. If you look on the bottom screen, I'm coming up behind the Berserker King to get a preemptive and to avoid all his minions. The food I have, it raises my TP by 10. That's one of the reasons I chose it. I didn't choose it because of the resistance is. So, this is my first attempt at him. Also, on my weapon, I gave it a uh, arm bind. Because I'm an arcanist. I started with arcanist uh, subclass, and that's the only thing I started, extra thing I started with on this class, or on this character. I didn't start with any ultimate equipment or anything like that. I'm curious to see how well my burst effects will be. Because I uh, didn't, I've never tried Ice Coffin before. I just recently unlocked it. I did beat the game previously, like, two days ago, with a, uh, what was it called? Bushido, uh, Bushido, what was it? Fortress Solo, and that went amazingly well. Still have a character, too, but that's, that's not everything smart, I'm not thing, I guess. Let's Come on, poison. That hurt a lot. Circle war off. <sighs> Maybe he'll get poisoned. Shit, not again. Don't fail me, Cynthia, the Hammer of Justice. You can do this! Even though it hurts. A lot. I stocked up two Armitas, or whatever they're called, the things that restore TP. And I have one Medica 2, which is good for healing in case I run out of TP and Armitas. That hurt a lot. My arms! What have you done to my arms? Cynthia shall get revenge. What's wrong with that? Ooh. Very nice for sword 30. Ah, uh, that's a problem. I should probably heal. One of these days we'll get poisoned. Then the fight will be a lot easier. Turn 16. Um, let's see, I just spam the more attacks, flipping his arms, get bound. I'm gonna increase the duration on my poison cycle right now. Oh, there we go. Perfect. He's halfway dead. Woohoo. 
Ah, fuck. Shark one. I think that was the last term I poisoned Sir Lad. Yep. Mm. Let's try and para hack some with paralyzation. I doubt he'll get affected by it because I haven't maxed out this skill. Like I have poison circle, but still. Ah, dodge. What you gonna do about it? Wait, nothing. That's what. Oh yeah, sorry for bad quality. Uh, one thing I have to record is my phone, so if anyone has any ideas on what I can do to make recordings better, on something like my 2DS. Don't make fun of me. My 2DSs are awesome. That's gonna hurt. Stupid counter. Skills. Hmm. Let's go with another nerve circle. Need to invest more points in my attacking skills. The only thing I have is a normal attack that does 50 damage. And poison. Well, I do have my, uh, knockout blow and... Heavy Strike, whatever it's called, or my hammer. I swear, once I get to level 40 and max out Naka, Blow, and Ailment Boost, this will be so incredibly fun to just sleep spam everything. I think that's one of the reasons Rocket decided to call her the Hammer of Justice, because that's her new name. Was, uh, certainly close. Alright! How many times must I smash your face in with a hammer for you to die? I'm holding one hand. I'm going up with one hand. I'm playing with my other hand. So, placing my hand moving back across, forth across the screen. Ow. I got a TP. No! I think I'll sort out the turn to use counter. Or not. Score! I forgot to show my skills that I had. Oh well. It didn't even level up. What a letdown. Blah, 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 blah. No one cares too much. What if I can make it clear? Picture? Nope, not really. Oh well. Why did the picture get so blurry all of a sudden? Maybe I switch hands. Pulling the phone. There we go. So proficiency and expertise not max out. Two points on full heal, gaining points on the party heal. I'm going to max out auto heal and heal mastery. Because I had auto heal on a different character solo. I, I didn't complete the solo, I just changed character to a different class. But anyways, an auto heal is quite insane. You're almost dead? Pff, no you're not. I'm going to max out Knockout Blow, Revive Group Therapy and whatnot, or not, Refresh Skill Tree, and Revive I'm not interested in, TP Boost I'm interested in, not getting Star Drop, I might get some points on the Stretch, Patch Up is only gonna ever have 4 points, Heavy Strike is pretty good, the Stun is not bad at all, Sleep is better than Stun, because next turn they'll take Tons more damage from your next attack. But still. Healing is maxed out, and heals maxed out. Or I may, well, not maxed out, but as many points as I put in it. I may put more points into healing. Sorry, my voice kind of just messed up. Derp. And now for my Arcanist skill, please. I have Circle Dune maxed out. This Miss Heal I have one point on. I may end up putting all five points into that. And some points into this Miss Blow. Not really gonna go for blast or mastery. TP return is definite. One point on the lethal spell. Alien boost. Now that will make my uh, sleep hammer of justice insanely powerful. I may put points on the charm eye, but m probably not a trophic eye, however that's pronounced. Uh, I may go up to chaos circle if I have extra skill points left over. And let's see. I've maxed out Poison Circle, because that's my random encounter killer. I've only put one point in Nerf Circle for some reason. I guess I thought it would be good to have a bit of Paralyzation skills, because Paralyzation is pretty powerful at times when they can't move. But they also have a chance to move, so yeah. 
and I'll probably end up maxing out my, uh, binding circles. I have to put a point on to warding mist eventually, because petrification is so annoying for solo playthroughs. Like, it is the most annoying thing in the universe. I don't think I'm ever going to put points on the bracing walk. Yeah. This is Cynthia the Hammer of Justice's first video that completely just destroyed the boss. It was pretty easy boss, too. Alright. Death Life, I guess, is now gonna stop the video. I don't know. Alright, see ya. Till the Hollow Queen, I think it will be.